Hello scholars, I'm going to show you how you can access Zern, which is the math um, curriculum product that we will be using this year. And so the first thing you need to do is when you go to zern.org, um, you're going to get to the login page. You will be using your Acellus username and password, um, which you can access through um, by clicking on the Zern website and it should pop up for you. So I'm actually going to use um, a test student, which <laughs> I made one for my son. So I'm going to type in his username and password. And then when you're ready, you can click sign in. Now, as you'll see, uh, the very first page, a couple things about this. On the top left corner, you will see, hey, Carter, or hey, your first name up here. Um, and below that, um, you're going to see the sign out button. So uh, you'll know that you're signed in when you see your name there, and you'll know that you can sign out. It'll say sign out if you want to exit the program. So you can click that if you're, if you're finished for the day and you want to exit out. The very first thing, though, that you should see when you are starting a lesson is the number gym. And when you're ready to start, you'll just click the start button, and it will take you into the number gym. Um, and one other side note, uh, down below the number gym here, you'll see it says, yeah, you're ready for a new mission. And the name of the mission that you're going to start is called Add and Subtract Friendly Numbers. This is, the missions are like the units, okay? So unit one is Add and Subtract Friendly Numbers. And below that, it will show you what lesson you are on. So because this um, student has not started the second grade course, he's starting right at the beginning of lesson one in unit one, which is called Make and Take from 10. So let's get started. We're gonna click the Start button and see what comes ne next. Now this is what you would see when you click start for that first activity. Um, and it is called the counting train. Now these might be different activities, but when you're ready to begin to work, you just click on the arrow here, uh, the little green balloon, and it will take you through the activity. So let's just watch for a, for a moment as it goes through. You can see that this one, you're, you have to click in order to keep going. And now what it wants you to do is to count how many objects you see, how many bears, and then tell us by clicking on the number how many there are. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six. Six bears. And it makes little sounds as well. When you're ready for the next one, you would just click Next. So um, if you want to, you can go ahead and continue doing these activities, um, work your way through each component. Here's the next one. Um, as you can see, you'll just continue to do this, and this is more like a warm-up for you. Now let's take a look at what if you get one wrong, okay? So this one is obviously five, six, seven, eight, nine, but what if I chose eight? You can see that it lights up wrong, and it's gonna give me that opportunity to choose and do it again. So now if I get it right, it will turn green, and then I can see that it moves me forward. When you finish the first activity here in the number gym, you'll see that you zerned it, and when you're finished, you can hit done. If you loved this activity, you can hit love it, and then click done um, to move forward. Now the next portion of your activity is something we call the sprint, and you'll see that you'll click the start button to begin this. So let's click start and see what the sprint is all about. When you're ready to begin, click go. Now in 60 seconds, you need to answer as many as you can, and it's going to time you. So let's take a look here. 10 plus 1 is... 11. You would have to manually type it in, or you can click down here the numbers. And when you're finished, either hit enter on your keyboard, or you can click enter. 10 plus 2 is 12. Let's try to get one wrong, right? 10 plus 4. Oops, maybe I said 15. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's not going to tell me right away, but that's okay. It's probably going to tell me at the end. So right now I'm using my keyboard to enter in these scores. 
and you can see at the top the little orange thing is going down that means that my time is running out. Turns red toward the end. Okay, time is up. Now we can check our work. So as you can see, I'm going to go through and see that I got the first one correctly. Or correct. The second one was correct. Now this is the one I got wrong. Notice it's giving me another try. So there it's having you correct your mistake. So 10 plus 4, oh, that's right, it's 14. I hit enter and now it says yes, that is correct. So you're going to go ahead and continue to go through all of your other answers, double checking your work, seeing if you got any wrong or if you got them all right. Once you've checked your work, you'll get a great job. This is how many you got correct, and you can either choose to keep practicing or you can go to the next round. So we'll click next round, and again, it's going to time you for 60 seconds to answer as many as you can. Now, just a side note, if you do pause or walk away or it takes you an excessive amount of time, you might get this little pop-up that asks if you're still there. You can either choose to start over or just click keep going, and it will take you right back to the main um, sprint activity. When your time is up, you can check your work again and see which ones you got wrong and redo to see if you can get them correct. So go through and check your work and it will move you forward. When you get to the end of the sprint, you'll see you've reached the finish line and you can choose to love it and then click done. Next up in our uh, little learning path here in Zern for this lesson one is the math chat. So when you're ready to do the math chat, this is going to be more or less your guided practice, your guided lesson. So the lesson is titled Make and Take from 10. So when we're ready, you can click start. Now, this portion is a video, and as you can see, there are little stopping points in the video. So when it makes you stop, it's going to make you solve or answer a question in some way. So let's take a look at how it looks. To get started, you would click the play button. You'll meet the math Zern teachers, and these are the guys that will help take you through the lesson to learn the math for the lesson that day. So once we reach our stopping point, we're going to take a look at what pops up on our screen. Okay, one quick side note, you'll see that he reminds you, you should have a pencil, your math notebook, which is your um, Zern workbook, because every lesson has some notes that go with it. So please make sure you have those out in front of you and make sure your headphones are in um, or that your sound is up so that you can clearly hear the lesson and you don't miss anything. It will give you that option. If you don't have those things, you can definitely go get them. And when you're ready, you can click yes that you do have your Zern notes pages, your pencil, and your headset. And when you're ready, just keep clicking through the next arrow. And let's start the lesson. Everyone has been shipped or will be shipped um, school supplies and the uh, math kits. So if you would like to use any of those manipulatives, feel free to do so. But um, you, as you can see, they are visually represented here. So feel free to answer the questions, um, you know, with those virtual models as well. So this one asks us how many cubes are in there uh, or are there in total? So we would count, well, there are five here in purple and there are another five. So that is 10 cubes. I can either enter it on my keyboard or I can click the numbers down below and hit enter. And it will tell you if you get it correctly uh, or if you get it correct. Remember, after each segment, it's going to ask you to answer some questions or type in a number or a value for something. So continue to work through the lesson until you've completed it. The video will eventually direct you to your student notes. So if you have your Zern notebook, make sure you open up to the correct lesson and make sure you're looking at the correct um, grade book and mission book. So um, the missions are like the units. So it will say G2, grade 2. Mission 1, which is Unit 1, and then make sure you're on the correct lesson. So pay attention to that. If you need to pause the video, you can do so, um, and then open up to your notes so that you can continue on with the video activities.
When you're finished with the guided practice, you can choose to love it and then click done. Now we're going to move on to something called the Tower of Power. You'll see it up here. When you're ready, you're going to click start. Now, the more you use your brain, the stronger it grows. Okay, so when you're ready, you'll just click and you will be able to do a couple practice uh, problems and see how you do based on the lesson. As you answer the, uh, the problems correctly, you'll notice that the tower on the right side eventually fills up. So watch how I do this one. 10 minus 1 is 9. 10 minus 9 is 1. And then when I hit enter and I click next, you'll see it goes to the next problem and my tower is going up. So continue to do this. Again, once you finish the Tower of Power, you can click Love It and click Done, and it will take us on to, uh, to this next screen. So you can see here that you unlocked another lesson. Lesson two would be for the next day. You only have to do one lesson per day, and um, whenever you are ready to do that, you can just click Start at the top. So everything that's new is at the very top, and it will have a Start button. So when you come in the next day to do your math, you'll just go to the very top, and you'll start where you left off. Now one other thing I wanted to show you is the My Stuff tab. If you want to see how many lessons you've completed, then you just need to go into My Stuff and it will show you how many you have done. Obviously, you haven't completed anything other than the first lesson, right? The student hasn't. So your goal is to make sure you're completing a daily lesson and or assessment um, according to what the lesson says to do for that day. So if you're not sure which lessons you've completed and where you left off, you can always go into My Stuff and easily see which ones you have done and which ones you haven't. And that is basically all that you need to know about the Zern website. If you have any other questions, feel free to let me know. Thank you, everyone.